Hi, Anna at the sewing studio here. Brother have launched some new models for 2023 and this is one of them, it's the SH40. It's a computerised machine and in fact I'd probably go as far as to say that it's the best computerised machine in the range at its price point. Now because it's computerised it has some lovely features on it. So you have your LCD screen which is where you select your stitches and change your width and your length. There's 40 stitch options which are all listed on the front of the machine. Now it has a foot pedal, comes with a foot pedal, but it also has a start stop button so you don't need the foot pedal to operate it. You have your reverse, needle up, needle down, and then this is where you can control your speed. It has a built-in needle threader and a nice and easy drop-in bobbin system. It's very, very simple to set up and use, so let's plug it in and I'll show you how. So I've plugged the machine in and I'll show you how it threads. So you just want to pop up your spool pin, drop that on, and then take the thread. Now I always like to hold the thread here so that then when you're threading it, it gives it a bit of tension. And you always want to make sure that the presser foot is up because that means the tension discs that are under there are open so the thread can fall in there. So you're just going in behind, down and up, back, and forth and make sure it pops into what's called the take-up lever there else you'll have all sorts of problems and then you want to go down now I'm going to show you how to use the needle threader I'll let go of that but what you need to do is make sure that the needle is in the right position this button here takes your needle down and your needle up again and then when it's up like that you know it's in the right position for the needle threader so you just want to carry on in the guide above the needle it's always a little bit awkward. And then pull the needle threader down and then the little hook is through the eye and you just want to lay the thread in under there and then reverse the action, pull it back up and then you can see there's the little loop there that you can just pull and that's your needle threaded. And then the bobbin, it's a drop-in bobbin, so you just want to take the cover off and then it needs to go with the tail of the thread to the left, so to spell a P for perfect, and you just drop that in. Again, I normally just pop my finger on the top to stop it spinning, so you're threading it under some tension. And then you pull it around there, and then in what's called the quick set, and you can just pop the lid back on, and then you can start sewing. There's no need to draw up the bobbin thread. Now when you switch the machine on, it'll always start at the standard straight stitch, which is stitch 00, zero um, in the left position. So you just want to pop that in and then I haven't got the foot pedal plugged in, so I'm going to show you the start stop button. So you just want to drop your needle in and then go. To reverse, press that button for as far back as you want to reverse and then let go again and then come forward. Now that's on the slowest speed, you can go up to midway and then up to fast. And then you can stop, you can do your reverse, you can finish there or if you want to come forward again just come forward and stop. Pop your needle up, raise the presser foot and then there's a little cutter on the side to nick those off and then that's your <clears throat> straight stitch. If you wanted to make that slightly longer, you can adjust the length here and then the width here. Now to select between the stitches, you'll see they've all got different numbers. So if we wanted to change to a zigzag, for instance, that's number zero four. So we don't need to change anything on the zero and we just wanna go up to number four and then that will be your zigzag stitch. Again, take the needle out and then chop them off. And that's a zigzag. Now the buttonhole is stitched in one step, which has a specific foot. So you just want to pop the button, I need to make it a bit bigger. Pop the button in the back and squish that down and then it knows the size that it needs to do for the button. It will do it a couple of millimetres larger to accommodate for the button. Pop 
whoops, <laughs> pop that off and then snap on the buttonhole foot. Now you don't have to, but I always think it gives a nicer result if you can get this needle thread down underneath the buttonhole. So what I usually do is just drop the needle down, pop it back up again, and then have something small. Uh, your seam ripper or stitch on picker is perfect for this. And then just drag that through and then that's underneath. And then it's gonna sew the buttonhole that way. So what you want to do is put a tiny little mark or a pin or something where you want to start your buttonhole. And then there's a little window in the foot and you just want to line your mark up with that. And then it's going to sew the buttonhole there. Now there's a little lever in the back here that comes down. That's called a buttonhole sensor. And that's how it knows when to stop and do the bar tacks at the back and then come forward again. So I'm just going to do a standard buttonhole, which is number 26. So we just want to change that to two and six. Drop the needle in. I just put it on a medium because it sews better. And away you go. And there you have your perfect buttonhole. And if you wanted to do any free motion work, I'll just pop this buttonhole foot back off a minute. You can drop these feed dogs. So there's a little lever on the back of the machine that just drops those down. You will need a free motion embroidery foot, which is an optional extra, but you do have the option to drop them with this machine, which is much better than when you have the plate to go over the top. It gives nicer results. It comes with a few different presser feet. So you've got your standard zigzag foot, a nice open clear one for your decorative stitches, one for zips and piping, a blind hem foot, one for overcasting, one for sewing on buttons, and then your one step buttonhole foot. It also comes with a nice range of accessories and of course the foot control. So I hope that demonstrates how easy this machine is to use and the great accessories that it comes with. It's also extremely lightweight, so portable as well. So if you want a second machine to take around to classes and things, this one is an ideal one. If you want to know more, head over to our website, thesewingstudio.co.uk, where you can find more information on this machine. And we're always on hand to help. So just get in touch via live chat, email or phone. We're ready to take your call.